Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Luther Season 1, Episode 6, the Season 1 Finale Rundown. So yeah, so Luther is still a wanted man. He is just running through the streets, scared, confused, pissed off, and angry. And the level of emotion that the actor portrays is just like amazing and stuff. And so he's calling his police chief lady, Rose, telling her, you know, Ian did this, Ian did this, and stuff like that. But she doesn't believe Luther because of his erratic behavior in the past and how the room was framed to make it look like Luther did it. Then we see her talking to Ian. And she wants to know what the world has happened to Luther and everything. And she never thought that it would come to this, to where he would turn against his badge and everything but they've always kind of suspected he might especially with the whole henry thing and so like of course that um detective martin man he wants to bring luther down hard he's kind of like the eternal affairs guy right and so like um so now everybody's looking for luther and he keeps calling Ian and he leaves a message on Ian's phone. So this is where he keeps messing up in life. Luther's all like, Ian, I know what you did. I know you killed Zoe. When I find you, Ian, I'm going to murder you. I'm going to kill you. And he leaves that message for on his uh, answer machine, on his voicemail. So, of course, he plays it for Rose and everything. So now they really think Luther is up to no good and stuff. And it's like Luther has got to stop this and learn to trust people and tell them what's going on and all this other stuff. And so with the whole Zoe thing being dead, see, I have mixed emotions about that because Zoe is a very complex character. Like you want her to be with Luther because that's his uh, wife and stuff. But she's so flippy floppy when it comes to her, um, her, Luther and Martin, because it's like um when luther was doing the whole sabbatical thing because the whole henry thing she cheated on him when he was in rehab with martin and stuff and she didn't have a care in the world and she fell in love with another man and telling luther you know like it's over with only to him talking about like you're my wife and i want you back and so she was like beside herself not knowing how to feel and then it's like she gets back with Luther only for Martin to be all like, leave him alone and everything. And so she does it. And then when Luther was first um, out for all, um, when people first thought he murdered somebody, she believed it and stuff. Like she, cause she knows he does it. That's the thing in the cops. It's kind of like, why did they think that he murdered her with a gun? Cause Luther does not carry a gun. Why did they think he murdered Daniel? Luther does not carry a gun. He is the only cop there who doesn't carry one. And so like, and so it's just kind of weird because she like, you want to hate Zoe, but then you kind of want to like her because she's Luther's wife and stuff like that. But it's just like, she was such like a flippy floppy character that it's hard to like, like, you kind of glad she's gone, but at the same time, you don't because you want her to work it out with Luther and stuff. And so everybody in town now assumes Luther is a killer. And so does Martin and everything. And so he's all like, because then they're trying to like grieve for Martin because Martin's upset because Zoe's dead. And he's all like, it's him. I always knew it would be him and everything. And it's just, it doesn't make sense. If people know the type of person Luther is, he does not carry a gun. They never even suspected that he was framed. They never even thought about the possibility. And they didn't even think about the possibility of looking into Ian after Luther said Ian did it. So that they really let Luther down as he's now running. And of course he has no support. There's only one person he can trust right now. He calls Justin and be all like, look, man, you know, I didn't do it. You know, look into Ian and stuff like that. Try to find the diamonds because, of course, the diamonds are still missing and stuff. So Justin is starting to have like a second change of heart where he's trying to think maybe Luther isn't like, um, you know, like as bad as everybody says. But of course, Luther has only one ally, Alice. So he goes to Alice, breaks into her place. She goes looking for him and she's, um, she just talks to him and she's just kind of like, 
So you've come to me after he didn't want nothing to do with her. But of course, he, he needs somebody to rely on and stuff. And so she agrees to help him and everything. And so they need to find a way to prove that Ian murdered Zoe as the entire police force is after him. So first things first, the murder weapon, which has his prints on it and everything. Because remember, he had the gun in his hand at the hotel pointing at Ian. And so they need that gun and everything. So he, when he calls Justin, Justin is going to help and everything. So he gives him the location of where him and Martin are going to be driving. In comes Luther and Alice dressed up. But they know it's Luther because Luther wears literally the same thing in every episode. I kid you not. The same suit, the same tie, the same shirt, the same trench coat. It's like he has no clothes, <laughs> but he wears something on his face to cover up his face. So as like Luther is like getting the gun from Justin, um, Alice is like handcuffing um, Martin to like the car. And so he gives him the gun and, you know, he tells him, you got to make it look convincing. You got to hit me. He hits him straight in the gut and Justin goes down for the count. <laughs> <laughs> so after Luther and Alice has the gun, he's now cleaning it and everything. He's cleaning out the chamber uh, for like the, um, the the residue type stuff. He's cleaning his prints off it. He disables the gun and he tosses it in the river. So the cops are kind of like, um, this is weird. Like they now they really suspect that he is the person who killed Zoe because they say if he's innocent, then why did he steal the murder weapon for? That makes him look doubly guilty again. And so Ian, Ian is also also having a change of heart. He still regrets killing Zoe and he kind of feels a little bad framing Luther, but not really. And him and him, those two talk on the phone and he knows after the conversation he had, Luther's not going to let this go. So he has to frame him even more. So he, um, Ian puts like a camera in his locker and he puts the, the diamonds there to hide them because if people find the diamonds, they're going to know he's the one who killed Daniel and stuff. And so then as he's talking to Rose, Rose is all like, okay, we got to bring Luther in. I have to save my butt because see if, cause see her job is on the line because she lets Luther get away with someone's stuff. And, you know, because the thing about them is that Luther lies for Ian at times and Ian lies for Luther. And um, because they, they kind of like bend the rules and stuff. And so she's all like, if we can say, if we can bring Luther in and say he is mentally ill and that he's crazy in the head, then they can get, uh, then she can get away with uh, letting Luther always doing whatever he wants to do. And Ian's all like, huh, I didn't even think about that. So now he's kind of like, crap, I should have used that excuse for myself. Because <laughs> then, you know, they wouldn't like look into none of his cases and stuff. And so now they have to somehow set up Ian. But Ian is too close with all the other cops. And But Ian is acting sporadic and shifty. And Justin can see that. And so Ian tells like Luther, you know, just meet me at a certain place, man, and we can talk this out. But of course, he's bringing the rest of the police force and Luther knows that. And so Luther now needs Ian isolated to the point where he takes for now. All of a sudden now Luther is now using a gun. He plans on murdering uh, Ian. But I think he takes like a screwdriver or something like that. He plans on killing him with that. And so they meet and they talk. And but the people uh, who are monitoring this, the cops, they're listening to everything Ian and Luther is talking about until Luther makes it to where it disrupts like the um, audio thing and he whispers to Ian and everything. And so Justin, who's on Luther's side, he sees that something is up and he tells Luther to run. And so, because the snipers are going to snipe um, Luther, because this is the thing, Ian wants now Luther dead. And so Rose is all like, look, I don't want to have to get a kill order, but if need be, if he's in, if, if um, 
Ian's in danger in any kind of way, you shoot Luther. And of course, Luther pulled out that screwdriver. And so this is when Justin tells Luther to run. And he pushes the um, sniper rifle out of the way. Rose is so pissed, she tells Justin, give me your gun, give me your badge, and you are arrested. So Martin is still thinking Luther's up to no good. And, but he's starting to wonder, why is Justin acting this way and everything? And what, what's the whole Ian connection? So Ian has been reviewing the entire uh, situation on the, video, uh, on the laptop. The whole confirmation between him, confrontation between him and Luther, right? And so Ian is now literally one string away from losing his sanity and stuff. And Martin can see that Ian has been reviewing this same footage over and over. But Martin gets suspicious. What did Luther whisper to him that was not picked up on the audio? And Rose is not trying to investigate nothing. She just thinks Luther is guilty. So meanwhile, Alice brings Martin to Luther. And of course, Martin wants to just like kill him and everything. He punches him a, a couple of times, but then... Luther holds him and is like, look, man, I didn't do it. Somehow Martin just believes that. I don't know why, but he just does. I guess he kind of figures that, you know, Luther loved his wife. So but I don't understand. Why, why, why did he believe Luther? Luther didn't prove it. Luther just like, look, man, I didn't do it. But then I guess with the whole craziness of Alice, Alice is always threatening um, Martin and stuff. So I guess he kind of figures, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I just don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that never made no sense to me. I just don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know why he believes him, but he does. And so Luther's all like, look, man, we need the diamonds and everything. And so we can prove that what's his face does it. He has in his locker. And he gave him Ian's combination. So he sets up a whole like plan um, and everything. So Martin goes there. He talks to Martin. And Martin's all like, Look, I don't, uh, he tells Martin, I don't fear Luther and everything. I don't think Luther did it. So this is starting to make Martin kind of wonder why all of a sudden, now I'm getting people messed up. Martin is the eternal affair dude. So whoever Zoe's boyfriend dude is, that's the dude. I forget his name. <laughs> Jeez, I'm getting people names messed up. Okay, Martin is the cop, eternal affairs guy who wants to bring Luther in. The guy who wanted to beat up Luther, that is Zoe's, like, boy toy. Um, whatever his name is. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna call him boy toy for now. <laughs> so, boy toy, um... He goes and talks to Martin. And, like, he's, like, telling him, like, you know, I'm not afraid of Luther and all this other stuff. And all of a sudden, he has to go to the restroom. But then he goes into the locker room and he finds the diamonds. And then he comes out the locker room and Ian sees him come out the locker room. He's all like, oh, um, where's the restroom? So Ian tells him. And he's like, oh, man, I'm sorry about the whole Zoe thing and how Luther killed them. He's like, yeah. But then Boy Toy leaves. This makes Ian suspicious. He goes into his locker and he sees the diamonds are gone. He looks at the footage of who went into like his locker and it was Boy Toy. So Ian now grabs a rifle in hand. He goes looking for what's his face. And he follows Boy Toy by tracking his cell phone. And so like um he meets of course Luther. And of course Boy Toy and Alice is there. And he, Ian and Luther, they have like a talk to talk and everything. And Ian literally confesses to Luther, like, yeah, you know, I killed Zoe and I framed you and blah, 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 stuff like that. And so Luther reveals, hey, man, I got you on video and it, well, I got you on audio because he recorded the entire conversation of Ian confessing. So Ian decides, OK, he's just going to kill Luther. So they fight and everything. He shoots Luther and they fight and everything. And Luther's wounded and hurt and Luther's getting the crap beat out of him until Alice comes in and she stops Ian from killing Luther. And of course she loves Luther and she ain't gonna let nobody hurt Luther. So she takes the um, gun from Ian and she points it at um, Ian. And she's all like, um, she asks Boy Toy, 
should I do it? Should I kill him and everything? And he's kind of all like, uh, and Luther's like, no, we have to take him in and everything. And so Boy Toy's like, yes, do it. So it's a two against one vote and she murders Ian. Luther is pissed because he still has to clear his name and stuff like that. Well, at this point in time, Martin is starting to suspect Ian and he wants all the cops to start investigating Ian and stuff and they go looking for him. So then after a while, you know, the cops, um, no, no, not that. It's, um, I forget what happened. I think Boy Toy and Alice talked to like Luther and they're all like, what's next? Cause Luther knows that no matter what happens next, it is not good whatsoever. And so then it ends like that. And then in the next season, I'll just let you know right here, right now, in the beginning, Rose has now resigned from the police force and she doesn't even appear on the show no more. Um, of course, Ian is dead. Um, Martin is now the new head chief of the police department and they're interrogating Alice and why she did what she did. And she asked, does John Luther still get to keep his job? We see Luther in an apartment getting dressed and he's all like, yes, Luther is still a cop. So they have now forgiven Luther and everything and they no longer suspect that he is the murderer of Zoe. And, but then we see Luther with the um, pistol in his hand, a revolver. And he just starts playing Russian roulette for like a second or two with his head. He's still mourning over the whole Zoe thing. And then after that, he gets up and he leaves. This is a very intense show. And it's a very spine tingling show. They do murder in a very brutal kind of way. And there is no room for error when it comes to catching like these criminals and stuff on this show that's one thing i like about this show it's just like they really go there they don't try to censor it like they do in america and stuff but it's sucky how they treat luther because every time somebody ends up dead or something they always um, automatically assumes it's him and they should have more faith in him because they know he's a great cop and they know he doesn't go around murdering people but for some reason, they always believe that about him for some bizarre reason. This show is on HBO Max. And I suggest, like, I really highly recommend watching this show. It's very, it's a very good crime thriller. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.